How's everybody doing tonight? Dan with Mad Nasty Trapping, coming back at you again with another episode of Know the Animals You Trap. Tonight's episode, The North American Wolf. get started. Range. The gray wolf is located in the tundra and forests in a major portion of Canada from the United States border north to the Arctic and Alaska and also in the northern sections of Michigan. And me being a Michigander myself, I do live in the lower peninsula, but I am told there is a substantial growing herd of wolves in the Upper Peninsula. Now, I have not done a whole lot of research on wolves because there are none in my specific area of Michigan. But to the best of my knowledge, they have opened, within the last few years, a wolf trapping season in Michigan Upper Peninsula. This is the best of my knowledge. Make sure that everybody follows your state game laws and regulations. Double check if you live in the Upper Peninsula. And be sure that this is a legal practice. I believe it is. But always refer to your state game laws before going out and trapping. And know each individual species bag limits. And regulations. So we're going to get back to here again. Range: the gray wolf is located in the United in the gray wolf is located in the tundra and forests in a major portion of Canada from the United States border north to the Arctic and Alaska, and also in the northern sections of Michigan, Minnesota, and Wisconsin parts of northeastern Wyoming, southwestern Colorado, southeastern Arizona, mid-Oregon, and southeastern Utah also feature the gray wolf. The red wolf exists solely in western Louisiana and eastern Texas. Very cool. Very cool. Identification. The wolf is a large dog-like in appearance, so much so that its head somewhat resembles that of a German Shepherd. There is an immense color range that may run from gamut from part may run the gamut from particularly pure white to coal black. The legs and underparts are are lighter than the remainder of the body. Here we go again, guys. A scent gland is found at the base of its tail above the anus. Okay? So, again, that scent gland could be an item in which you retain off of any of your wolves that you trap and use sparingly, obviously, on your trap line as a wolf scent attractant. That would be my suggestion and just a thought from me, a guy that has not wolf trapped before. Something to also look into is if you are a wolf trapper, if you take that scent gland, what impact does that have on the value of the fur at market size a mature male stands up to 38 inches in height at the shoulder measures six feet in length and weighs a hundred pounds or more the heaviest here's the record book record from the outdoor bible the heaviest recorded male 
tip the scales at 175 pounds. Females tend to be lighter than males. Food. The wolf preys on large game such as caribou, mountain sheep, moose, and deer, as well as marmots, varying hares, grouse, small birds, eggs, mice, ducks, and geese along the small, among the small game. During the salmon runs, the wolf may be found in the vicinity. There you have it. Right out of the Outdoor Bible, the complete encyclopedia of the outdoors, 1976, copyrights all due to the writers of this book. I'm Dan with Mad Nasty Trapping. Many more episodes to come. Thanks, everybody.